What are you doing now? This is what they call sanitizer. It's caustic soda and it cleans the pipes out and everything. Do you think you'll ever stop milking? Mate? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'll just wear that, I'll probably, it'll be because I'm forced to. <laughs> What's that, if, if you stop milking, it's because you're forced to? Yeah. I can't, in other words, I won't be able to do it. <laughs> What now? Breakfast time now. Characters that can do their own thing, they can be pain in the ass. I don't know, there's just more interaction with a cow than a tractor, I think. Without being tagged, you get them a bit stronger and fitter. Oh, they get the tags in there, he is. Just like how you're piercing this, it doesn't hurt if you get it in the right place. So what are we doing? There's a magnet in there and every now and again we check it to see if it's picked anything up. But it's that powerful magnet. There could be like a nail or something stuck to it and you can't even get it off. It's You'd have to get it off with a pair of pliers I think. Yeah, there you go, that's a nail. Where do you think that metal's come from? I'm not sure. That's a nail, obviously. The dry cow, the ration that we've just done, um, 
is made up of bales which comes from a field that floods and after the flo it flooded quite badly last winter so these are um, you know you, you get contaminants in the in the field and it could have just raked something up with the hay that's enough to kill a cow and that punches it inside the stomach one of the rumens yeah and, and then you get infection you see do you get that well, not that we know of, because, I mean, we you know, we don't lose that many cows to touch wood, fingers crossed. But, um, so, you never actually open one up to see what's killed them. You know, it's like, when you say, trying to find a needle in a haystack, it is just quite literally that. Mark said you had a bit of an accident. This, you don't like going in there anymore. No. You see them Why knives on there? Yeah. There's one up there, look at it. Um, I was inside one, there was a little bit of silage buried in one of the, I was I was avoiding seven knives and missed the eighth one and, and I accidentally kicked it and it just went right through my welly, right into my foot and cut two tendons in half. Why are you using New Holland blue tractors? Now then. Um, just because we've always had blue ones is about the reason for it and it's the ones we most used too. Let's, let's drill the top and bottom of it. I, I like them to look to like as if they're all the same colour. Um, if they're all the same colour it kind of looks as if you know what you're doing. Whereas if you have one green one, one red one and one blue one, you don't know which camp you're in. <laughs> so. I was all blue. I mean, they're nearly all blue. There's a little red Fergie or two kicking about, but... Um, How many blue ones is there? Oh, there might be 20. That you own? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, not personally, but yeah. Partnership does. So it's the only dry field that we have, so we keep the, the Highlanders have to stop out for the full winter. They're, they're an outdoor cow, they're a mountain cow. And <coughs> this field would be in a river um, bottom field. It's made, made up mostly of like gravel and stone. So hence you can see how dry it is now. There's hardly a mark on it. Um, and if you look into the river, the river's actually way up at flood level. I uh, know the, the haylage this year is very dry, so the, they all get a belly full of dry haylage and then have to come for water shortly after. So it's, it's just like eating dry cream crackers. Well, when we put fertiliser on, going back years, there used to be a, a, a technical measurement called the T-sum. And when it was, a, I think it was a, a a combination of, of soil temperatures and when they added up to a certain number that was the time you could put your fertilizer on but the rule of thumb we have here is usually the tea sums up when the daffodils are out so daffodils last week they weren't out and this week they are out
this here is hydrated lime and uh, it's basically a disinfectant because it's rather it's a strong alkali and we mix it with the sawdust um, you shouldn't really be putting it on your hands because it, bur it burns your hand you get an alkali burn um, rather than acid burn so you shouldn't get it in your eyes either it can do, do quite a bit of damage um, but, but basically it's, it's a cheap disinfectant so it goes on the cubicles where they lie and keeps the bacteria down and say so you don't want another thing you can get if a, if a cow leaks milk and it gets muck muck near the milking area you can get things like mastitis so that's why we can disinfect it as, 